Hello my YouTube subscribers. Today's tutorial is on how to make this very secure lobster clasp. I mean, um, not lobster clasp, but tea, tea, what do they call it? Tea clasp. Dang it. I don't remember the name. But, um, basically it's just a stick and a loop and you, and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So let's get started. And also how to attach it because, you know, I used to make jewelry and I was like, how the heck do you attach these things? So I'll show you that too. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a bracelet that you need to finish off the ends that are ready to have the, um, the clasp made. Some wire, a small bead, not a large bead, and uh, your regular tools. Uh, round nose pliers, cutters, or snippers, and some of these flatteners, which I don't know the name of. So let's get started, shall we? Another tool that I forgot to mention that you can do with this one, but it's preferable with this um, mandrel one from Wubbers, is um, you need a round, a large round mandrel to go around so you can make that big loop. Forgot to mention a steel block or any um, flat hard surface to hammer on. It just gives it extra durability when you make your clasp. I'm actually using a dapping block. I just flip it over and use it like that. All right, we're gonna start by making that loop part. So you're gonna get your wire and you're gonna, I have about um, four or five, maybe six inches. I just work with a lot of it. I don't want to um, run out of it when I'm doing my project. So you're going to make that loop, you just wrap it around there, it's a simple loop, make it tight, and then wrap that around what um, the loop is. So once I'm done doing this part, I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a little tip. When you're wrapping, sometimes the loops don't come close together. So what I like to do is put them close together with another tool I have. I just squeeze them together and then there they go. There you are. Now we're just going to snip it off. For the safety of the customers, I always press it down and make sure that it's not going to hurt anybody. And there, there's no sharp parts. So now we're going to make that small loop at the bottom. Oops, hope you guys can see this. It's hard to film and do it at the same time. <laughs> I had to go back and add this clip because the first time I actually forgot to do this part. But to attach it to the end of your bracelet, I'm going to show you that right now. So when you make the end of your bracelet, the other ones might be wire wrapped. But um, because of like often forgetting to attach it, what I like to do is just make that simple loop on the, on, on the other one. And then we open that loop and attach it. I'll show you that right now. Alright, so I'm going to start by opening this loop up. You always open up this sideways. Don't pull it apart, but do it sideways. And you get your little toggle clasp. Alright, so that's open now. And I'm just going to slide the toggle clasp on. And then close it. And that is how you attach it. So now I'll teach you how to make the other part of the toggle clasp. That will be the stick part of the toggle clasp. As for the exact dimensions of the wire on this part, it kind of matters, but I don't know the exact dimensions. I just make it according to this and accommodate a little bit more knowing that I have to make a loop and turn in, turn in the edges. So when you find the size, which is about like this, then you add a little bit more for other things. You can always adjust it later. 
So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna make a loop. But you're gonna make a small loop. So you're gonna get these ones and put it in the middle. And then you're gonna start turning it. Until it crosses. You're gonna just cross them across to make a and then you just do that until it's straight. And then you, at this point you'll notice one side might be a little bit longer than the other. And you want to make them both equal so I'm just going to cut off one of the edges a little bit to make it a little bit more even. So that's what it's supposed to look like. That's very simple. And now to attach it and now just so the edges don't hurt anybody because they're sharp you're going to just curve them in making a, a simple like little loop and, and you know this is like totally up to you you could make it fancier and do something else just just do some kind of design with the end of it so that it's curved and it does it doesn't hurt anybody. And do the same thing same thing with the other side. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you guys what this looks like. Something additional you can do is actually hammer it a little bit, but it's not absolutely necessary. It just it gives it a little bit of strength. If you do have something to hammer it on, um, hammer it on something hard, but don't hammer it too hard because you don't want to flatten the metal and make it weaker. You just want to uh, harden the metal. And that's all. It just, gives it, it just gives it a little bit of strength. So this is what it looks like now after I did that. See, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's totally handmade. All right, now for the other side, Make sure that you have smaller beads on it, otherwise it's going to be hard to take it through this hole. Because if your bead right there is too big for this hole, it won't pass through there for your lobster clasp. I mean your toggle clasp won't work. So um, this is also done with a simple just open and close loop right there instead of a wire wrapped loop. So I'm going to open that up and put that little loop right there through there and they'll be attached and I'll show you what that looks like. Also what I did is made a little adjustment and I looped these in a little bit more on each side because it was too big to pass through this loop. So you gotta test it out and make sure it fits and that it's well. Alright so now on the other side just simply it open up that loop that you have that simple over loop and slip on your clasp in the middle of that whole that loop part you made and then close it and there you go now you have Lobster, <laughs> lobster. I keep on calling it lobster. It's a toggle clasp. So you just simply put it through here, and see, this is where I'm talking about. You want to have a smaller beads, not a large bead, bigger than the hole on the other side. So you're gonna slip it through, and this thing works so well. It really does. Although it doesn't want to slip through for me. Should have made it bigger. You know, when this happens, you can what you can do, I'm glad it happened, is make it a little smaller on the sides. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I made it a little smaller on each side, and then I'm going to attempt to put it back through this loop. And um, that's where you got to pay attention about how big it is and stuff, because you want to make sure it fits through that loop. But it's a very simple thing to adjust. You just saw it slipped right through. And then it really actually does hold it very securely and doesn't come off. 
So this is a great clasp to make and I made this with 18 gauge wire. Again, don't make it with the 20 gauge. 18 or 16 gauge wire is the perfect wire f for this. So I hope you guys like watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And to take it off, I'll show you. To take it off, all you do is slip it right back through. And there you go. That's how to make a toggle clasp. Bye, you guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye-bye. In case... Here's a bracelet I made in case any of you guys really wanted to see it. I did some wire work right there and some on there. I really like the wire work. I think it gives it a sophisticated look and copper wire just really makes jewelry look fancy. And then I have a little butterfly on there. Isn't that cute? Alright, thank you guys. Bye. I always love you guys watching my videos. I'm making more tutorials. Isn't that great? Okay, bye.